Hi guys, I am Dr. Nishant. I am currently pursuing my dream branch, General Medicine and uh, welcome back to my channel. So, uh, I have been getting a lot of messages in my Instagram account uh, regarding uh, DNB and uh, how to go about it. And since the need PG counseling is on, so I thought why not to make a video on MDMS versus DNB and try to clear all the doubts regarding DNB and uh, how you can choose DNB over MD. Uh, if you are getting your dream branch and at the end of this video i'll try to share why i chose dnb over md uh, so keep watching and if you're new to this channel do subscribe so let's get started what is dnb so dnb it stands for diplomat of national board and it is a post graduation degree which is being offered by nbe which is the same board which conducts neat pg neat ug neat ss and so on so these courses are mostly run in corporate hospitals and some are being offered in some of the government hospitals of India. So coming to the similarities between them, so both of them is a post graduation degree of 3 years duration. You have to do a thesis or a research work in both of them. The course, the books, the cases, the clinical practice is almost same. Uh, coming to the stipend or salary. So you are getting almost equivalent salary to that of the postgraduate who is uh, doing MD or MS uh, in that state. This is state wise. For example, I am uh, pursuing in the state of Assam. So the MD MS salary which the state government is giving to the students of the uh, of the medical colleges in Assam, uh, I am getting a similar stipend uh, or more. So that is the same criteria for every all over India wherever you are doing. Coming to the differences, so MDMS it's run by government medical college and private medical uh, as all of you know. Uh, DNB they are run by corporate hospitals. Few are run by government hospitals. Now coming to examination board. Now it this is this varies from state to state. Uh, it is conducted by the local university of the state uh, for MDMS, and uh, for DNB the examination board is central. That is all over India the same board conducts the exam which is NBE and that NBE also conducts NEET PG, NEET UG so you all know about NBE. Uh, the exams conducted in MDMS are mostly within the same college itself and it is by the same professors you have worked with but in DNB the exams conducted they are in a different state and the examiners uh, they are not known to you. Passing rate is high in MDMS. In DNB, passing rate is always a concern, but it is improving every year. In MDMS, you have a bond to serve after three years in most of the states. Uh, except in Delhi and in some other states, most of the states have bonds, so you have to serve that. Uh, in DNB, there is no bond at all after three years. In MDMS, the quantity of cases is never an issue in a government hospital, but quality might vary. But in DNB, quantity could be an issue sometimes but that also depends from center to center case loads but quality almost you get a lot of variety now coming to surgical branches in ms you get a lot of hands-on that is for sure but in dnb hands-on might be less but again it varies from center to center in mdms you get opd in dnb uh, you might not get opd in most of the centers but opd experience you can always get uh, by you know uh, sitting with your consultants in the OPD and learn from that. So uh, having said all those points now ultimate aim of this video is to why to choose DNB. So if you are getting your dream branch then you can consider specially med medical allied branches. For example if you want pediatrics only and you are not getting MD and you don't want any other branches so you can definitely go for DNB pediatrics. If you want medicine only and you don't want to get, uh, you don't want to do any other branch, so you can definitely go for DNB. For surgical branches, you can go for DNB if that is the branch you want to pursue. But if you have a list of other surgical branches which you can uh, consider, then you should keep MS above DNB because uh, of the hands on you get to do. And in surgical branches, most of the time, the more hands on you get, the more uh, better it is for you in a residency. But again, that is a uh, thing you can debate on because uh, at the end, does it matter much? We'll talk about it. Then there is no bonds. Uh, then variety of cases. Cases mostly follow the entire course of the disease in the hospital. Uh, now I'll explain this because uh, like in government hospital, most of the cases which come, 
uh, they might not have the facilities even if they have the facilities sometimes the patient are not willing to pay or not willing to uh, you know complete the treatment and they go for dama or lama so you might not get the whole uh, course of the disease but in corporate hospitals mostly people are who are willing to pay they come and they continue the treatment until the diagnosis is made till all the tests are done so most of the time you get to see the whole course of the disease so that is interesting for dnb now dnb versus md in peripheral college so this is a very important point which i also kept uh, in my mind before choosing uh, dnb over md so uh, whenever you are getting an md in a peripheral college which is just a newly set up college or where the pg has just started uh, so you can always consider dnb above the md because dnb in most of the corporate hospitals are well developed they have uh, you know updated tests latest technologies and methods but in peripheral colleges where you are doing md most of the cases might get referred so that is always an issue that you are always referring a case rather than looking after it or you might not have the complete resources to do the tests or come to a full diagnosis so i would always prefer choosing a dnb uh, over a md of a very peripheral college a very new college in dnb you get regular classes by nbms which is a program which nb board runs and they conduct classes every week uh, which you get in your mail so you can learn from that and you can take a leave of 30 days in a year uh, as per nbms norms uh, although that cannot be taken at a stretch but still you can take it in a split wise manner so now coming to why i chose dnb over md so i had a complete clarity on my dream branch i did not wanted to go to surgical branches and in medical allied branches i was pretty sure that i wanted to do medicine so in my rank i was getting orthopedics surgery uh i was getting pediatrics i was getting psychiatry but i was completely sure i do not wanted to do uh, surgical branches so that were out coming to the medical allied branches i was sure i wanted to do medicine and uh, go on to do dm in one of the branches i kept dnb over above md uh, of some peripheral college as well because of the fact that most of the techniques or most of the recent advances are not being carried out in the new colleges which i might miss and uh, in the corporate hospitals the technologies the cases are not much referred so you get to learn a lot so how to choose a institute so you should look all these points place case load procedures the working environment academics super speciality or the rotation postings and the consultants so place so before choosing institute you should be very much clear that which are the places you will not go so for example so you are someone from south india and you do not want to come to north india or you are someone from north india and you don't want to come to the northeast or go to the south so these are the some areas which you have to mark that you are not go about to go to that place this helps you to narrow down the list case for number of admission so before going to any institute you should always inquire about how many admissions are there how many case is there any point of time so that helps you to decide uh, the case load and how much opportunity is there to learn like procedures like in surgical branches is very important in medical branches also if you know that that is a higher center where there are advanced procedures which is being taken place so you know the cases will be interesting so working environment is another very important point which you, you might get to know from your seniors uh, academics most of the institutes of dnb the academics are pretty good you have weekly classes you have uh, case discussions journal presentations and so on super specialty or rotation postings are very important in branches like uh, medicine and uh, then surgery so these are important then coming to the consultant consultant you can always inquire uh, who the consultant are how much famous they are because the more famous they are the more is the number of cases and and so on now lastly something about my own institute so i am doing my dnb from apollo hospital uh, guwahati and uh, case load if you talk about it's pretty good uh, variety is enough uh, there's always around 15 to 20 cases admitted any day in the wards in our units so we get a good opportunity to learn we have two seats here of which we have two units so we get to uh, work in each unit and any day there are around 15 to 20 cases uh, case discussion with consultants are there in rounds we get to learn from the consultants 
their rotation posting among super specialty in the second year so my hospital is a super specialty hospital and similarly there are many hospitals all over india where there are super special department and you get to do rotations in the second year uh, as per academics in our in my institute there is weekly seminar and there are also weekly seminar by a network from apollo which is called apollo clinic knowledge network and there are again classes by nbms as well work environment is decent there is not much toxicity here so i hope guys this video helped you to know about dnb and how you can go about it during this counseling and uh, what are the points you can take into consideration while choosing your dream branch and uh, all the best for the counseling and i hope to hear your story uh, on the other side you can dm me for any doubts uh, or comment down below i would be happy to help and uh, you can subscribe to my channel share with your friends uh, till then take care bye bye